at night. Like he said, my name is Tanner Tuttle. Um, everyone was shouting out where they're from, so I guess like I've been living in Vegas a few years, but I'm originally born and raised from a small town called Cedar City, Utah. <laughs> Holy shit, that's way more than the appropriate response. All right. <laughs> everyone else is like Utah. Oh, that's what's wrong with you. Oh, okay. Okay. And then like the next thing, like when people find out I'm from Utah, they ask if I grew up Mormon, if I was raised Mormon. Uh, I wasn't. I grew up white trash. It's a uh, it's a little bit different there. I was actually one of the only kids in my hometown that wasn't Mormon. So I got picked on and made fun of for it by the other kids. And like, I wouldn't even have to do anything. I just walk into the classroom, all the kids see me and gank up on me and just go, ha ha, Tanner's got one mom, Tanner's got one mom. <laughs> kids are mean and it's like, I can't do your mama jokes back to a Mormon kid. It'll take all day. Like. I was like, I gotta stuff it down, and that trauma, that stuff with me. So it's like, to this day, if I see a small kid make sudden movement around me, I'm like, ah! where are you going, Jeremiah? That's why I'm no longer allowed to see my nieces and nephews, but that's, that's okay. But, but moms nine and 10 were there one time, hearing their kids make fun of me. So they come running up, and they're like, hey, you guys be nice to Tanner. Just because he only has one mom to help him read, and our family motto is, it takes a village. <laughs> All right, so that's not moms like nine and 10 in numeric order. That's what grades the moms are in. <laughs> all right, we're all on the same page now. Hell yeah, that's all, that's all I want. Oh, man. And like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big dog lover too. Growing up, I always wanted to have a dog, but my parents didn't want one, so I didn't get one until I moved out here and stuff. And I was like, sweet, I get to name my dog whatever I want. Uh, and I like messing with people. So I named my dog Grandma. <laughs> yeah. Like, imagine that. Like, you guys are my neighbors, so every day you see me walk outside, I go, Grandma! Come inside! <laughs> Grandma! Quit eating your shit! Get in the house! <laughs> That's great. The first day I got grandma, I was like, I have to start messing with people immediately. Let's go. So I went to Walmart with my girlfriend, bag of dog food. It's all we grabbed, set it up there. And the cashier is like, it's 22, whatever. And I look over at my girlfriend. I'm like, hey, you're paying for grandma's food today. And she's just like, wait, I just bought grandma a new cage. Like... You're getting the food and like people walking by like we were loud on purpose so like i swear concerned people were like you call animal control i'll call social services but we're gonna get to the bottom of this somehow but my favorite part about grandma is grandma is a male dog dude just throws everybody off hanging out and just be like grandma quit licking your balls we, we have company But like, it's great now, like, everywhere I now travel, like, it's for comedy, and it's new places that I've never been to, because I was sheltered in Utah, so now everywhere I go, it's my new time out there, and I really like it. Um, I went out to Colorado, I was in like Cortez, Colorado, and uh, we went to a dispensary, because I needed weed out there. Um, I feel like, I'm like, I'm like a bottom tier pothead too, all right? Like, like all I want is just, like, I can't do any of the high, tech stuff, like the wax or shatter or anything. I just want weed. And I blame my dad for that, because like growing up, he's like, my favorite thing to smoke out of is a can. <laughs> and I was like, I just carry that, like a can? He's like, yeah, just take it, chug it, make it, smoke it, crush it, throw it away. It's like, this is not a bop it, but um, I'm like, you have another life, apparently. But anyways, so I'm at this dispensary, and there's two older white women that are working. And uh, I'm wearing a Slipknot t-shirt as well. And the girl is like, hey, I like, I like your shirt. When did you see them live? I was like, I I've never seen them live. <laughs> and the look of disgust that came across this old woman's face, like, you're wearing their shirt, but you've never seen them live? And I'm like, I can name you three albums. Like, what's going on? And my buddy nudges me, he's like, bro, you're a poser to her. And I'm like, <laughs> I, oh, okay, cool. Like, 
can I buy, get, can I get some weed? They're like, yeah. Go through and they're like, oh, we've got this deal. You can get a dollar joint if you leave a Google review about us. So like, all right, open it up. You got to show us the review? All right, cool. They call me a poser, five stars. <laughs> Give me my dollar joint. They're like, all right. So like, here's our choices. We have one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. I'm like, all right, I'll take number four. They're like, oh yeah, oh, we forgot. Then there's these two over here. These two are for breast cancer awareness joints, all right? <laughs> Right? So they're like, the money you, that you, if you buy one of these, the money goes to breast cancer awareness. I'm like, yeah, I said number four. I'll take that one right there. <laughs> that same woman is just like, now you're not going to support breast cancer awareness? And I'm like, I'm trying to buy drugs from you. Why are you bullying me so hard right now? And this is the reason I did it. I got super real and super hard on her, and I was just like, my mother is a stage four colon cancer survivor. <laughs> yeah, all right, so like, where's your ass joint? You got an ass awareness joint? I chose ass over titties a long time ago, okay? I don't need a pink ribbon, I need a brown ribbon, hell yeah. <laughs> Some good shit though. Um, and then uh, I'll tell you this one as well. Uh, I got to travel to Austin, Texas for the first time last month. Austin. Yeah. Um, <laughs> never been there. That was fun. Uh, I thought it was. I went through the. Uh, I went through the uh, airport and there's a giant sign by TSA solo that just says, "Do not bring your gun to the airport." And I was like, "What? Why does that need to be so specific and big?" And I'm like, "Ah, oh, it's Texas. Yeah." Like, you get a gun before you get a cell phone out there still, okay? I can't try and kick a little kid out there. You try going up there, you just ch -ch -ch, like, okay, all right, never mind. <laughs> then uh, I went out to, uh, I was out at 6th Street. Like, okay, so I thought living here would get me used to, like, dealing with homeless people and stuff. Like, we got some wild ones. But, uh, dude, the homeless people have, over there on 6th Street, holy shit. It's like they took them... The Fremont Street, it gave a ketamine, heroin, and meth all at the same time. I was just like, go wild. <laughs> like this, this one guy was following us around and he was just like, hey, I got million dollar ideas for 20 bucks. Million dollar ideas, 20 bucks right here. And I'm a rather curious guy, so I'm just part of me is just like, what are you gonna say? I want to know. So I'm just going to like give me like, hey man, what is it? He's like, don't trust anybody. It takes it and walks away or something. <laughs> it's worth the 20, I guess, you know? <laughs> then a little bit later, we're walking, and uh, I uh, was walking. I heard someone masturbating before I saw them masturbating. Okay, like, do you, do you understand what has to happen? For that, like here, like I'm walking and out of nowhere you just look and see. <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey, I got million dollar ideas for 20 bucks. <laughs> Guys, if you learned anything from my set, never shake a baby, always stir them. I'm Tanner Tuttle. Have a good night. <laughs>